So my name is Bjorn Poonen. I'm a professor of mathematics at MIT in near, near Boston in, in the US. Um, I guess my official title is Distinguished Professor in Science, but I'm not, <laughs> I don't really do science outside of mathematics. Um, yeah. And I, well, I guess I, I, I mean, I, I was also born in Boston and I grew up around there. And yeah, and I, I went to school at Harvard and then Berkeley and yeah. So I guess I was always interested in number theory. And so I, I did my PhD in that in, in number theory under under Professor Ken Ribbit at, in, at the University of California in Berkeley. And well, since then, I just kept doing number theory and well, also algebraic geometry and the interactions between the two. Gerd Fontix is, is, of course, extremely well known among mathematicians for his work on the Mordell conjecture and on other, other problems. And, and that, that result alone, I mean, his work in that area alone was, was very inspirational for me. And a lot, a lot of my work in some, in some sense is trying to build on what he did and trying to make effective some of, some of the problems that he solved to try to make it more, make, make, solve, it, solve the problems he wanted to do, but in a more explicit way. Um, so yeah, so he's, so, uh, so, I mean, it, it, his work has been extremely influential in in in, in my whole in, in all in, in many of the things I work on. I mean, I didn't actually meet him. I think until after I finished my PhD. I think I met him at some conferences somewhere. And well, he's I don't know. Every, every time I meet him, he's been nice to me. So I've, I've very, I yeah. So I've, I was very I was very I was very pleased to be able to speak at his at his birthday conference here pleased and honored. The, the, the main advice I usually give people is, is, is to talk to many other people. I mean, not just, I mean, not just, uh, yeah, I mean, some, 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 I think some students have the idea, oh, if they're, if they're being, if they're working on a PhD under, under me, then they should be just talking with me. And just doing doing whatever, yeah. Just, but I, it's better if they if they talk to other, and not only other professors, but also talk to many other students or researchers at other universities and every all even 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 talking to 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 more junior mathematics, even talking to undergraduates. So you can they, I think the way, at least for me, the way I le I learn math, most a, a lot of the ways I learn math is by talking to other people. And, and also a lot of the problems that I've, that I've worked on, I've learned from, I've learned about from talking to other people. In fact, sometimes it's not even, sometimes just from talking to somebody, even if they don't propose a problem, somehow the, in the process of speaking with them, somehow a problem somehow surfaces. <laughs> and then, yeah, and so, so, I, so a lot of, yeah, a lot of ideas come, come that way. So yeah, so the main, the main advice I would give is to make sure you talk to lots of people. And it's also more fun that way, I think, to do math. I, I got, yes, I, I guess I always did a little bit of hiking, but I got into hiking a lot more dur uh, during, during the pandemic. It sort of became my main form of exercise. So yes, yeah, so, so fortunately, well, my, MIT is, I mean, it's, it's not right in the mountains, but it, it's possible to drive two or three hours to get to some interesting mountains. So I, do, I have been doing a lot of hiking there. I also like to sing. I sing in a, I say I've been singing in a classical chorus uh, that I've been doing for about 30, more than 30 years. And so, yeah, I really enjoy that. I don't like singing by myself so much, but, but in a group of people, uh, yeah, I, I, I really enjoy that. 